According to reports, the people who live in close proximity to Harry and Meghan are fed up with the couple and are eager for the family to move on. The controversial decision to take down from their roles as working royals was followed by the Duke and Duchess of Sussex settling into their property in Montecito, which cost £12 million. However, those who live in the area do not appear to be very excited about the arrival of the Sussex because they moved in the year 2020. The Montecito Journal was informed by a neighbour who expressed their displeasure and stated that they cannot wait for her, Megan, to go. The neighbour requested to remain nameless. In January of 2020, the pair decided to abandon their royal duties and relocate to the United States with their two children, Archie, who is five years old, and Lilibet, who is three years old. Richard Minyards, a columnist for the publication that focuses on society, expressed his dissatisfaction with the fact that he was unable to take additional pictures of the couple. The author takes up residence in what he refers to as a tireless toss from the mega mansion that the royal family resides in in River Rock. According to what he had to say, it is a very wealthy community, and we have a lot of people who give a lot of money to our cultural organizations as well as charities, but we don't witness them. They maintain a fairly magnificent lifestyle, and the location could not be more ideal. They are eagerly awaiting their arrival, and the town is waiting for them with bated breath, the prestige that comes with becoming a duke and duchess. In spite of the fact that Meniers has only seen the famous couple a few times, Prince Harry is occasionally seen with his security detail while he is out for lunch, riding his bike, or chatting a walk. Several of their neighbours, like Barry Maher, a public relations and communications expert, have acknowledged their disappearance. Maher referred to them as a travelling soap opera. Frank McKinney, a veteran of the United States Navy, was reportedly ignored at the entrance to their new home while he was holding a gift of welcome. This incident also made headlines. The individual, who is 88 years old, stated in a chapter of his biography titled Get Off Your Street that he attempted to share some films that he had made on the history of the neighbourhood, believing that they could be of interest to others. He was mistaken, and a security guard who had passed on the royal snub turned him away. It came out that he was rejected. The gate person refused to take the film and told me that they were not interested in it. Frank said, I was turned away. I was attempting to be friendlier to my neighbours. Locals have expressed their perplexity regarding Harry and Meghan's decision to relocate to River Rock, which has left them perplexed due to the fact that River Rock is often comprised of people of a more retirement age. It is not very often that we come across them in this area, he continued. It's remarkable that they came all the way here. People tend to be of a more advanced age. One can say that it is the place where elephants go to die. <laughs>